Now, I don't know how many of you guys watched a video a couple of weeks ago where we talked about the first ever Indian Pokemon card base set launch because over in India in 2004, this right here was their Pokemon card base set that launched as a booster box. And today, I've got it to open for you guys. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it as a uh, little pop-out right here on screen. So make sure you go watch that one first. I give a lot more info. But basically, in India, they didn't have the license to print the Wizard of the Coast original base set. So Fun School, actually in 2004, made these booster packs right here. And this is an Indian base set original booster. Getting a booster box worth of this right now is really rare. And how this came about was... The guy literally hit me up that sold me the previous ones. He's like, Ando, I've got like 800 of these boosters. Do you want to buy a booster box worth of black hole boosters? Which is a booster box in 2004 in India with 50 booster packs. So we've got 50 packs right here. Plus, I know it's not the same set, like black hole is what we bought. But I've got a Thunderbolt base set booster box that I can chuck in. So I thought this is a fascinating bit of like TCG history we can look at today. Now there are like three different sets. So we have got the black hole set right here. You've got the Thunderbolt is the other one and Meteorite was the third one. They all released as the base set in India. And these are like the boosters you would get at the store counter. And as I mentioned before, they never thought that this would take off. Like Pokemon cards wouldn't be big. So they had to get the kids some other way. So they would give out point markers, which are Pokeballs inside of these boosters. And if you got enough of them, you could cash it in for physical prize, which I think is fascinating. You imagine if they did that now, like how many booster packs are sold and how many prizes they have to give out would be ridiculous. But you open it up, it's probably a bit like, oh gosh, there, there goes our little uh, 10 points right there. So you get your little Pokeball and you'd get a bunch of those and cash them in eventually. You'd open it up, you've got your checklist of items that you can get, and these are the cards. And look how similar they are to the Wizard of the Coast era. I mean, you've got the red logo, oh my gosh. So as you can see, Error Central. This has got so many errors. Let's keep it going. I mean, this is like a stock standard booster pack right here. Got the Chansey. Got the Bulbasaur. Yo, dude. I don't even know if there's a Charizard in the set, to be honest. Got the Meowth. Very TV show-esque artwork. Not so much hand-drawn. Not so much like what we collect, I think, nowadays for. Got the Squirtle. Got the Pikachu. These are big hits. There's a couple of big Pikachu collectors always after the Pikachu. So I'm going to put that to the side. And I think... This, yeah, this right here, this is our, like, ultra rare. So you get a bit of a sparkly reverse at the end. It's a Professor Oak. There's something really cool about how different it is. I'm gonna say this once and once only. I will link the guy's Facebook, who, like, found 800 boosters in his basement, in the description. But once they're sold out, I honestly don't know where to get more. That's it. That's all the information I got. I think this was just a moment in time that's really, really hard to track down exactly where it, what happened and where it came from. Now, another reason I really wanted to do a follow-up video with a booster box, it's not only because I wanted to buy this for my collection, but I really wanted to try something because a few comments and a few messages people were saying was these apparently were so broken that if you get the pack art, so we got a horsey, and say we got another horsey right here, Apparently, the pulls are going to be exactly the same. The packs are seeded identically. So let's put the booster box to the side right now. And let's open up two, I don't know, horsey black hole boosters. And see if the pulls are actually exactly the same. I'm going to get my uh, snippers on this one. And we'll bust this open. Oh gosh, that's not, <laughs> that's not safe at all. So, okay, everyone keep track. Everyone keep track of the cards. Let's find out if these are, like, easily seeded. And apparently it works across any artwork. You can pair it up. So we got a Starmie, we got a Scyther, got a War Turtle, that's actually really nice, I'm putting that to the side. Got the Squirtle, Lickitung as well, Staryu, Eevee, this is a banger pack by the way, Horsey Packs, if you can specify, that's the one to buy. It's a banger pack, get this one in a reverse! Alright, Meowth, and what else we got? Psyduck, shout out to Nate, this is amazing, and... Well, I guess if you want a poker float. Remember those poles. Remember those poles. Let's open up this one. And I'm so curious if this is actually going to work. So a bunch of messages are telling me every artwork is seated identically. Don't know if it's the same order. Okay, all right, all right. This is so far. Look at this. It's the same. Then next up should be... No way. No way. It, this is a YouTube first. I swear this is... A, this. This is not documented, because these packs are, like, ridiculously hard to find. So what should be next? A Squirtle, I think? A War Turtle. That's right, War Turtle, then Squirtle. No way. Have we just busted a 2004 myth? Holy smokes. 
Lickitung, was that in there? I think that was in there. All right, so it should go Lickitung, Staryu, Eevee, Gengar. Lickitung, Staryu, Eevee, Gengar. No way, that's unreal. Let's test this again. Meowth, Psyduck, Upside Down, Pokeflow. Again, again, again. What do we got? What do we got? All right, so we got a Farfetch pack. Black hole right there. Let's find another Farfetch pack. And we got a Farfetch pack. Okay, let's open you up. So I'm going to try and get the pack arts and I'll try to find for you guys the best one to try and buy. So, so far, I'm going to say Horsey's pretty good. It comes with Gengar and that's going to be a tough cookie to beat. It's going to really determine like what's on that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rapidash. I'm going to put these to the side so we can memorize this. Slowpoke, that artwork's nice. And you guys in the comments, I want everyone to let me know what pack you like the most. And I'm going to pick out a couple of winners and send you a pack. Because I know how difficult it can be to get. So we got a Snorlax. You just got to let me know. Horsey. Got the Psyduck again, so it looks like you can get repeaters. Charmeleon. So if there's a Charmeleon, and I think there's a Charizard artwork as well. Surely there's a Charizard card. Caterpie, Scyther, and a Pokeball. Mmm, I'm sorry Farfetch'd, I think I'm giving it to Horsey still. So let's open up this one, let's find out. Can you believe it? We're not only opening a 2004 Indian base set fun school box. With the box, but we're cracking myths as well. And they're like mind-blowing ones. Look at this! It's the same flipping cards! You imagine if the English did this, like all the Charizard base set packs had the same cards in it. Okay, okay, so it looks like they're exactly the same. So Charmeleon, got the Marowak. So now that we confirm this, we've got this like little mystery in the bag. Let's go through a couple of other ones. So let's put them at the back. Oh snap, the Charizard. So I wonder if they put a Charizard in a Charizard. But I, it, I guess this is another worry that people, I don't know, people love attacking these. So you'll notice in the comments like heaps of people love attacking these. And that's fair enough. You don't believe they're real. That's fine. You can call them fake. Um, and this probably adds to that rumor a lot more because why would a normal booster pack have seeded pack art booster? It doesn't make much sense. Let's find out. What's in the Charizard booster though? Got a Sandshrew, Butterfree, which is deep. Butterfree's all right, little Timmy. I know you get upset. It's a butterfly. It's not cool. Yes, it is. Okay, Rattata, Jigglypuff. Go on, guys. Oh, Mewtwo. Okay, okay. All the Mewtwo arts have this little cut right here as if someone scratched it. Because you'd look at this and think, oh, they're damaged. These cards are very weird in that you'll find scratches on the Mewtwo. You'll actually find claw marks. Like, it looks like someone's fingernail went through the card. I think it's something to do with the factory it got printed in. I, That's my only guess. I, or where it got stored. But apparently it happens to a lot of cards. Man, you know what? Charizard low-key bit of disappointment. Now we got a Rapidash. I'm going to open up this one. The Dark Blue Booster. Rapidash you got at the back. We got a Clefairy. And it looks like it's always a trainer holo. So my guess is, I mean, look at that Chansey. It's literally going through space. It hit the hyperspeed button on Obi-Wan's ship. But my guess is, Fun School made these and they thought, Pokemon are gonna sell really well. No one wants the trainers. I don't know why Wizard of the Coast made these trainers. We're just gonna put it at the back, only give one per pack. Um, I don't know if they ever intended for this to be competitive. They probably did make a game around it, but I think selling these packs is more on them. Oh, Pikachu again, this is good, okay. Is more on their mind than actually making it a competitive game and ultimately why it probably died out. That was okay, it had a Pikachu in there as well. I'm still gonna give it to the horsey. Oh my goodness, there's a Charmeleon art? I love the variety. This is the fifth pack art that we've gone through. And it's also wild that they all have the exactly the same pulls, isn't it? Okay, let's swing it around. This is not bad, got that Pidgeot right there. Gosh, I loved him as a kid. From that first movie, I thought he was the coolest thing ever. Pikachu as well. Poliwhirl, beautiful artwork jumping out of the lake. Wheezing, that's not bad. Got a far-fetched Charmander. Okay, Charmeleon's up there with Horsey right now. Ponita, give me one more spicy McDougal and I'll give you the award. Geodude, and a full heal. It wouldn't change if we opened up the rest of the entire booster box right here. Like, I'm dead set right now. All of those packs, everything you see right there, that's all going to be the same as to what we just saw. So let me know in the comment section which pack art is your favorite. If you pick a pack that not many people have picked out, I'm going to send a bunch out to people in the comment section. Demolish the like button if you found out something new today. Have a fantastic day.